welcome to Gearbox. I'm really excited to have Jason Tang from Mackie, product specialist here with the beta version of the Axis Digital Mixing System. Jason, can you tell me about it? Hi, great. Um, yeah, I would love to tell you about the DC16 and the DL32R together, their core, the Axis Digital Mixing System. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fully modular system. So what do I mean by saying that? Um, you expand to your need. Yep. It comes in parts. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, this is DC16, the DL32R, the DL32R is the brain. This is the control surface. Obviously, you see iPads on it. You have up to 20 iOS devices that you can connect to one system. So that's a lot, a lot of power in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's up to 20 iPads or iPhones with people doing Anything. fallback mixes. Yep. yep. Okay. So you can have it on your phone, mm -hmm. iPhones, iPod Touch, iPad, and obviously the iPad Pro mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Incredible value because, as you, as I said, it's modular, so you expand to your need. Mm -hmm. Whole entire system is connected via Dante, which allows you to connect up to hundreds and hundreds of brands mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. that's Dante capable. Yep. Yeah. So I would like to spend a bit of time going much more on the DC16 rather than the DL32R. That's mm -hmm. where all the power is, but the beauty is here. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. We've previously reviewed uh, the DL32R, yeah. so let's concentrate on uh, what's new in terms of the actual control in your hands. Now. Cool. Uh, let's start. All right, Jason, can you talk me through what's happening on the surface? Okay. Um, the DC16 basically does everything on the iPad or the iPhones. You, could s you can see everything and control everything via the DC16. Mm -hmm. First, we've got the three iPads that you can have in different view. As you can see, it's identified as A, B, and C. On A, we've got it on current. On B, I've got it on first history. On C, it's a fixed view. I can switch it up to second history mode, meaning I can see sec um, a history of what I've done early on. Um, let me talk through about history a bit. Um, most console you see, and uh, basically you see what you select and what you're working on. On the DC16, the screens, the iPads for, for here, um, it shows you what you did earlier on, meaning if I'm on channel one, I go to channel two, it will reflect channel one on my left and channel two on my right. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk through the control surface a bit. As you can see down here, it's where you get into the processes of the selected channels. Gain, which is all right here, high pass filters of all the channels, sense of all the channels, which you can select through here too, all the auxiliaries and everything, pan of all the channels, EQ parameters of all the channels, switching up between modern and vintage, graphic EQ for the master, dynamics for all the channels, your, your masters and your selected channels. Mm -hmm. On the left, you've got talkback, monitor, phones, which is here. You've got your core, rec recall of your shows and uh, saving of your scenes. On top right here, it's your fat channel. Once you're done with everything um, that you need to do before the show, you have very little chances of need needing to go do a lot. Chances are you would need a couple of really important parameters, like your frequencies, your band, of all your frequencies, your frequencies and Q, your gain, your low pass filters, your threshold for your gate, threshold for compressor, ratio, and your range, and obviously your pan. So this is the fat channel that allows you to move through, through things really, really quickly. On the left, what we have down here is your view. You might not want to see all the channels. You can pre-assign this. If I just want to see my drums, I hit onto view. Now all I see are my drums. Okay, now how customizable is that? It's really up to the engineer what mm -hmm. he needs to do and what he wants to see. Mm -hmm. So it's fully customizable in all sense. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the strong point of DC16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we don't want like telling the engineer how to mix mm -hmm. or what he should mm -hmm. do or mm -hmm. what he should see. Mm -hmm. It should be decided by the engineer himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. On the right, we've got um, our, all our mixes, all our outputs. Um, there's a, up to 28 output buses, left, right, aux, 
I scroll down, I would see my three built-in um, effects. I've got my subgroups, assignable, VCAs, my matrix, tons and tons and tons of outputs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. And that's, how configurable is that? Um, yet again, uh, this is, these are fix. Yep. yep. The mutes and the view groups are all configurable. Yep. Yeah. OK. And uh, the very important go button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like a prominent go button. It's yeah. just a thing. So it's a double tap recall or save. Yep. So if you were to do that, it would not recall the scene. Mm -hmm. Unless you do this yep. twice, it will recall your scenes just to prevent you yeah. from calling something that you do not <laughs> want to. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of these out uh, teaming up with the very successful DL32R. And look, I've always got a thing about being able to get to all of my bands of EQ and get to them you mm -hmm. know, with one knob. So that's my tick of approval right there. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's always a bugbear with me. You've got to have my EQ. So um, yeah, anyway, Jason, thanks for talking us through it. And uh, yeah, cool. have a Great. good one. Thanks. If you liked that, please like us down here and subscribe and share us with all your friends. Cheers.